What's up, everybody? I'm out here in um, Guatemala and Antigua, the old capital. So I'm just be walking around, uh, going on a small tour, showing around this area. So uh, I'm not really too knowledgeable on a lot of stuff. So I'll speak on certain things if I know. But for the most part, um, I just want to show what's going on, the views, the architect and stuff like that for anyone who's into like um, that kind of stuff and hopefully can inspire so, um, other people to come out here and maybe check it out because it's really nice. It's about an hour away from where I'm staying in the hotel and it's just a lot. So I'm gonna try to make some more videos, but I hope everybody enjoy. I'm gonna just walk around do a little bit of talking maybe but for the most part just showing what's going on around here really nice they got some nice stuff um, decorations over here a lot of these are handmade I think everything's handmade actually Some nice artwork over here. It's so crazy how like when you travel you see things for what it really is because a lot of times um you, you know the media and stuff they say negative things or you know some places don't get highlighted as much as others so you don't really know what's out there so it's just good to go like coming to guatemala i didn't really know what to expect and i didn't think it would be um as up to date as i see it well where i'm staying at it's like the city and it's like everything we would have in america plus more and then over here it's just like a lot of beautiful scenery and flowers and it's just very nice where it canonized as a saint on 2002 by the pope john paul ii he visited the country for their third time uh, just with this purpose uh, he used to use this um, esquizuchil tree, this one that we can see here, uh, to heal people. Oh. Uh, he was very into helping people, especially Mayan people that didn't have access to uh, what was the med at that time. Uh, he used to help them and do miracles as well. The, we were discussing right here that some of the trees like throw coins uh, however what people in here do mm -hmm. is that they uh, purchase the candles that we were oh. able to see that, that is the reason why the, they sell candles in here uh -huh. to ask a, a trick for a miracle mm -hmm. for, for health mostly but also for prosperity in their life oh, yeah. wow. This is 
the special offering that they have prepared for him. This is really nice. Um, the guy that he was speaking on, uh, the statue, that's his grave that they made for him that I just showed over there. And this is the church. Really nice um, architecture in here. Trying not to talk too loud in here. So I hope you guys can hear me. artwork in here I don't know if I mentioned it but um the statue that the guy was explaining about uh, is a guy named Santo Hermano, if I forgot to add that in there. some um, candles and stuff over here you can buy because uh, the way what they do is um, uh, I don't know if I showed it when I was walking through but they light candles and send a prayer up for you know health and prosperity and loved ones and people who may be sick or you know dealing with some type of um, situation so people buy them right here Feels good to be out here too. Back in New York, it's been pretty cold. Had like a you know a gloomy winter so I feel good to get some of the sunlight on my skin very much needed right now very cool Yeah, so this is where they got the candles. I just bought one and put one out there just to pray for health and for all my family, friends, just anybody that's important to me and just everybody out there. Um, you can feel the energy in here, so I just decided to do that. And uh, it looks like we're gonna head to another stop, so we'll be heading out now. And I just wanted to show this part, last part of the church.